Hey, what's going on guys, Breaker, and welcome to Small Fallout 4. Look, I'll be honest, it hasn't been the greatest of moments. <laughs> um, I have, yeah, not done very well at the moment, I'll be completely honest. So... Internal network. Okay, what else? Okay. Okay, that's that's all done. Okay, so yeah, I've been experiencing some issues. Hello. I'll be honest. I wonder if you might make it. Wait, failed road to freedom. Oh, fa road to freedom. That's uh. I was going for to freedom again. Oh, that's it. Yep, I forgot about that. I've known his father. Okay, so let's see if this works. Apparently, you can talk to Sean through the thing. So, let's just test it. This, if you don't, if you don't see this, then it didn't work. <laughs> I can only imagine what you've heard, what you think of us. I'd like to but if you do see this episode, then the wrong impression. it's all sorted. <laughs> I've watched this about four times. This is the reality of the Institute. This place, these people, the work we do. For over a hundred years, we've dedicated ourselves to humanity's survival. Decades of research, countless experiments and trials, a shared vision of how science can help shape the future. It has never been easy. And our actions are often misinterpreted by those above ground. Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished. But for now, we must remain underground. There's too much at stake here to risk it all. As you've seen, things above are... unstable. I'd like to talk to you about what we can do for everyone. I'm just going to wait until the dialogue's finished. But that can wait. You are here for a specific... Very personal reason. You are here for your son. Okay, so you guys haven't missed anything. So all I had to do was build the generators, which I have, which I did do. I built six small generators, or six medium ones. No, I think six small ones. Um, so they're just kind of all linked as one now. But um, you'll see, hopefully, if this game isn't actually bugged, as, as I'm thinking it is. I'm hoping it's not bugged. But yeah. Apparently as well you can talk to Sean through the the glass. So <laughs> we'll soon see. I'm just hoping it isn't actually bugged. Thank God for that. Sean? Huh? Yes, I'm Sean. I really you. Who are you? Sean, it's me. I'm... I'm your dad. Father, what's going on? What's happening? Sean, are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? What's going on? Father? Father! Shh, shh, shh. It'll be okay, Sean. I'm here I now. I don't know you. Go away. Father! Father, help me! There's someone here! Help me! Damn it. Sean! Open the door! Father? Father, help me! He's trying to take me! Father? Father, help me! Sean. S923, recall code Cirrus. Wait, what? Fascinating, but 
disappointing. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. He's a prototype, you understand. We're only just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme emotional stimuli. Please try and keep an open mind. I recognize that you are emotional and that your journey here has been fraught with challenges. Let's start anew. I am father. Welcome to the Institute. They kind of look alike. Give me Sean. The real Sean. Right now. I know. I know. You've gone to such lengths to find him. I want answers, asshole. Now. Under the circumstances, I will forgive your vulgarity. But I need you to realize that this situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. You have traveled very far and suffered a great deal to find your son. Well, your tenacity and dedication have been rewarded. It's good to finally meet you after all this time. It's me. What? I am Sean. I am your son. What? How is that even possible? I know this is a lot to take in. In the vault, you had no concept of the passage of time. You were released from your pod and went searching for the son you'd lost. But then you learned that your son was no longer an infant, but a ten-year-old boy. You believed that ten years had passed. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not 10, but 60 years? That is the reality. And here I am, raised by the Institute, and now its leader. What? They stole you, kidnapped you. It wasn't right. Right, wrong, irrelevant. It was necessary. The Institute believed humanity's future depended on it. At that time, the year 2227, the Institute had made great strides in synth production, but it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far, the human being walking Talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. So the weird science experiments needed specimens. That's why they took you. In a manner of speaking, yes. The Institute endeavored to create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human DNA. Plenty of that was available, of course. But it had all become corrupted. In this wasteland, radiation affected everyone. Even in their attempts to shield themselves from the world above, members of the Institute had been exposed. Another source was necessary. But then the Institute found me after discovering records from Vault 111. An infant, frozen in time, Protected from the radiation-induced mutations Holy that had crept shit. into every other human cell in the Commonwealth. I was exactly what they needed. And so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organics used to create every human-like synth you see today. I am their father. Through science, we are family. The synths, me, and you. I don't believe you. There's no way any of this is true. I wish there was something to say. I know this isn't what you want. But it's the only truth I can offer you. You're my son? Then prove it. Now. I've already told you how I came to be here. I don't know what further proof I can offer that would convince you. I've shown you my trust. Your weapons haven't been confiscated, and I stand unarmed before you. Please, 
Let's just talk. All right. Let's talk then. I know you must have questions. Please. Anything I can do to help you understand. Your mother. She never got to see you grow up? Yes. What happened to her was... I've gone over the records of the incident, of course. It seems her death was an unfortunate bit of collateral damage. Collateral damage? Is that all she was to you? What would you have me say? The world is a dangerous place. Although I think maybe it always was. It's just a bit more honest about it now. For many years, I never questioned who my parents were. I accepted my situation, and that. Imagine your son being older than you. With old you? age comes regret, and asking what if more often. But what matters now is that you and I have a chance to begin again. What else can I say to ease your mind? So you're in charge of the Institute? I am the acting director, yes. I spent decades working to reach this point. It's a responsibility I take very seriously. The Institute. It's important. It really is humanity's best hope for the future. No matter what those above ground might think of us. They're scared of you, Sean. Scared of the Institute. People are always frightened by what they don't understand. Ultimately, the Commonwealth has nothing to fear from us. Whatever you have seen or heard, I know I can convince you of that. Just give me time. What else can I say to ease your mind? I think I've heard enough for now. Very well. The Institute is on the verge of some... <sighs> Bloody hell. Breakthroughs. Your presence would be appreciated as we approach them. I've been a part of something amazing here. I've helped to build a life for myself and the people of the Institute. And now, after all these years, you have an opportunity to help with that. Doesn't that intrigue you? Isn't that what you want? Maybe. I... I don't know. This is so much to take in. I know. And I am sorry. You Bloody have been through so much this in such a short time. The Institute can provide a better life than anything above ground. You've been in the Commonwealth. You've seen what it's like. I assure you that you are better off with us. Things are pretty terrible up there. I've seen it myself. I know. That is why we are so committed to creating a better life for ourselves here. And it's a life that you can now be part of. I simply ask that you give the Institute, me, a chance. A chance to show you what I've been telling you. We really do have humanity's best interest at heart. Will you take that chance? Yes. All right. Thank you. The Institute is now your home. As much as it is mine. Please take some time, get to know it. Meet the people you'll be working with. You'll want to introduce yourself to the division head, Dr. Fillmore in facility, Dr. AO in SRB, Dr. Holdren in bioscience, and finally Dr. Lee in advanced systems. They've all been notified of your arrival, of course. Meet them, and then we'll discuss what comes next. Mad. Holy shit. I mean, everything's just nice. Everything's just clean. Look. Okay, it's all downstairs. Okay. I don't want to do that. What on earth? Um, no, down. 
one more. The thing is, I'm with Brotherhood of Steel, aren't I? Oh no. You're a synth. We are honored to welcome you here. I don't know. Okay. Most of them have lasted long past their projected lifespans. If you ask me, they were built pretty well. I can't. Doctor, we go. they weren't kidding. All set. You really Unit, are Unit, you can return to duty. Well, all right. I'm Allie. Allie Fillmore. You can think of me as the Institute's chief engineer. When Father told us about you, I could hardly believe you. You've been through so much. I think most people would have just given up. If you don't mind my asking, what was it that kept you going all that time? I just wanted to find my son and keep him safe. Now that you've found him, I hope you're proud of the great man he grew up to be. Now, I'll give you a quick rundown of the facility's division, and then I'll answer any questions you might have. No. As you might guess, we keep the I'm not. I'm not going to look online about who should I choose between the Institute and Brotherhood and all that. I need to really think about this myself. There's a lot of machinery. I guarantee it, it's going to come down who do I want to side with? The Brotherhood of Steel or the Institute? I just know it. The work we do might not be as exciting as some of the other I hate this in, in games. So, now that you're here and you've spoken to Father, does that mean you're on board? Absolutely. Oh, good to hear. It'll be a load off Sean's mind. Take your time. Get yourself acquainted. There's a lot to take in. Plenty of things you won't find topside. If there's anything else you'd like to know about the facilities division, I'm happy to discuss it. Ah, uh, good for I'm now. Good for now. Thanks. Goodbye then. Thank you, ma'am. Thanks again. Of course. We're all looking forward to working Hi. with you. Hi. Hi. Greetings. As the Institute's requisition vendor, I can provide supplies for your missions on the surface. Ooh. How may I assist you today? <laughs> Let's see what you got. Plasma pistol, plasma rifle. Oh my god. Holy hello. <laughs> oh wow. I think it could be time to start changing stuff. I really like being a brotherhood of steel. <laughs> That's the thing. I mean, I've gotten rid of all that. Razor blade, Salisbury steak, yeah. This is actually really cool though, that's kind of the funny thing about it. When are you going to tell me about this mysterious phase three? No, I can't talk about that. Phase three, hmm. And what would that be about, y'all? She's been at it for over two hours. What is she even testing? Nothing. At this point, she's just doing it for fun. Dr. Lee. Oh, it's you. You're not authorized to be here. Actually, I was looking for you. Me? Why? You're the scientist. Why do you think I'm here? Well, let's see. A Brotherhood of Steel airship arrives in the Commonwealth. You find a way to intercept our teleport signal, and now you show up at my door. I knew it was just a matter of time before your people would track me down. I've been looking over my shoulder for almost a decade, waiting for them to send someone like you to kill me. I'm only here with good intentions. You have my word. You're giving me your word? Even though we just met? Yep. Fine. Hmm. Since Father trusts you, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. I might not agree with everything he says, but I know he'd never allow harm to come my way. Say what you came here to say, and then leave me alone. 
Are you happy here? <laughs> Are you kidding me? I am surrounded by cutting edge laboratory equipment <sighs> and some of the greatest minds the world's ever known. What does that have to do with why we're talking? Hmm. You should return to the Brotherhood. Even if I wanted to return to them, why would they want me back? You need to stop working for the enemy and come work with us. Ah, there's the old Brotherhood spirit. I'd almost forgotten how much I missed the intimidation and the threats. Tell me something. Why would I possibly want to come crawling back to the Brotherhood? What reason would I have to throw away everything I've accomplished here? I was just told to get you to come back. The Brotherhood wants me back. And the best they can do is send a robot that does nothing but follow orders? Sorry, but you're going to have to do a lot better than that. <sighs> Father trusts me, and so should you. He trusts you because you're family. I'm not. I can't just take your word for it. I need more than that. The Brotherhood has always been straight with you. You're wasting your breath. I'm a scientist, not a soldier. The Brotherhood desired my creations in order to destroy, to take control. I'm not interested in returning to that way of life. I wish there was something I could say that would convince you. You're wasting your breath. I'm a scientist, not a soldier. The Brotherhood desired my creations in order to destroy, to take control. I'm not interested in returning to that way of life. I give up. What would it take to convince you? All right. I'll play your game. I had a colleague down here. Yes. Dr. Virgil. Several months ago, there was an accident in his lab. Nope. And he was killed. I wanted to help with the investigation, but father had the laboratory sealed, saying that it was contaminated. The incident never sat right with me. The more I asked about it, the more I felt like father was deflecting my questions. If you bring me solid information on what killed him, I'll take it as a favor from the Brotherhood and consider your offer. Do we have a deal? I know this may come as a shock, but Dr. Virgil is still alive. I met him myself. Oh, please. Do you really think a cheap tactic like that is going to work on someone like me? Stop trying to avoid the legwork by lying. I'm not. Either you get me the evidence or we have nothing else to talk about. Deal? Deal. All right. Dr. Virgil's lab was in the Biosciences Division. I can give you a code that will get you into the section, but the lab itself has been sealed, so you'll have to breach it on your own. I'd tell you to be quiet about it, but your brotherhood and discretion isn't exactly your strong suit. And finally, if you get caught, we never had this conversation. Now, for the sake of keeping up appearances, let me see that pit boy of yours. I've been told to install a coarser chip in it for you. Father's orders. You're to be given full access with the ability to relay in and out of the Institute nice. at will. Thank you. I'm sure that'll come in handy. Given that the relay is <sighs> the only way to access the Institute, handy is something of an understatement. In case the significance is lost on you, you'll be the only one here with that kind of access. If nothing else, it should demonstrate the amount of trust Father has placed in you. Yeah. Speaking of, I trust our discussion will remain between the two of us. Now, I need to get back to work, and I'm sure you have other things to do. Okay. Sleep is such a waste of time. I'd rather be designing more efficient plasma. This is a. Yeah, I'm kind of get. I don't know. I, it started off as like a good thing, this. But now I'm. Getting a little bit of the UBG beach by this place. The protocol, sir. Authorized personnel only. So Dr. Ayo says he can hide in the subject zone. identified. Well, you can tell him that I intend to speak to father about that. Hmm. You seriously think that heading over to robotics to knock some heads so together? So much research. So little time. You're here. Glad suspicious. you made it. I Maybe I should take some courses with me. Send a message. Please don't. There's enough friction as it is between us and pretty much all the other departments. Excuse me, Doctor. On me, Alana? So, here you are. Justin Ayo, Acting Director of the Synth Retention Bureau. I'll be up front with you. We're going to be keeping a close eye on you for the near future. Despite your relation to Father, you're a bit of an unknown quantity. 
I'm sure you understand. There won't be any issues, will there? Mm. No problems no. here. Good to hear. Now, Father has asked that I provide you with a brief overview of the synth retention. Our primary responsibility is the recovery of escaped synths that are hiding among the human population on the surface. I'm sure it's best for everyone if the synths remain here. Certainly. We can't allow sophisticated institute technology to fall into the wrong hands. The results could be disastrous. Our main instrument is the Courser, a third generation synth assigned to operate on the surface. Coursers hunt down and reclaim synths that have escaped the institute. They are highly self-sufficient, trained in combat, infiltration, and tracking. In a word, our coursers are relentless. Well, I gather you know all this, since you've encountered one already. In fact, I'd very much like to know how you defeated it. Mm. I'm no stranger to combat. Even so, a courser should be more than a match for any single combatant. I suppose I'll have to ask robotics to perform detailed diagnostics on the entire production run. Now, unless you need something else, I'll get back to work. Nope. I'm good for now. Thanks. Very well. Yeah, like I said, I'm getting heebie-jeebies about this place. But I mean, it's a pretty cool place, though. Nothing to report, sir. Uh, I could be... I don't know. Don't want to be good or bad. Theoretical limits are in to be broken. Bioscience. Blah, blah. What time are we on the moment? 27 minutes. It's not too bad. <laughs> Trying to find Virgil's. Um. Oh, was actually going to the right place. It's actually here. I nailed it. I don't like how quiet this is. Got it. That is very quiet. I don't like it. Yeah. No, so Shit. Okay. Terminal has locked me out. Do 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 do. Good. 
try and get rid of all the duds if we can. They need no. Okay, I don't know why I tried doing that, but you know. Which is good. No, I think we already did we go for stars. There we go. Alright, well stars. Hello. Okay. Well, I wasn't expecting that. really strong. See if I can get any more dodge removed. Oh. And the day. There we go, more dodge removed. I think that's it, I can get removed now. Okay. Got it. Nice. Wait, 
Oh, hang on, terminated. Terminated. And if it works, I'll be somewhere safe. Somewhere not even the coursers can find me. Everything that we've done, the lives we've taken. If there is a God, may he have mercy on us all. <laughs> it's Monkey. It's Monkey. Hey, up, Monkey. <laughs> Dr. Carlin's doing some amazing things with our genetically engineered crops. Hi, Doc. Welcome. So good to have you here. Dr. Clayton Holdren, head of the Bioscience Division. I can't wait for you to see the work we're doing. It's truly amazing. I look forward to learning more about it. In that case, let me give you a brief overview of what we do here. As the okay. name implies, the Bioscience Division specializes in fields of study such as botany, genetics and medicine our most important directive is to ensure the health and well-being of everyone in the institute to that end we no matter how clean my hands on the control always gets dirty for which is white we've even started to explore the idea of synthetic animal life and i, cle I do clean air so really i don't just let it get grubby and stay like that point, but the potential is exciting nonetheless uh. seems like there's nothing you guys can't do Hard work and engineering. Any <sighs> challenge can be overcome. I'm sure I've taken up enough of your time as it is. But I have to ask, have you decided whether you'll join us? I'm not sure how well I'll fit in, but I'd like to give it a try. Great. I was hoping you'd say that. In any case, I imagine <clears throat> you'll want to continue looking around. Or, if you prefer, I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. No, I'm good. Uh, good I'm now. good for now. Thanks. Take care then. Well, you can now fast travel to and from the institute. Nice. Look at that. 496 XP. Yeah, I'm chumps. Oh, I can't jump. Oh, yeah, I can. <laughs> um, we'll save attention. Well, I'm going to end this episode here because I think this is actually quite a good little spot to end it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to take a couple of days break from this game um, probably from gaming in general actually I say that I'm probably going to play something else in like an hour um, but yeah thank you very much for watching um, daily uploads will carry on so don't worry about that um, but for now thank you very much for watching if you liked the video make sure you hit the like button subscribe as well to the channel if you are new and make sure you hit the notification bell so you get notified for when I upload and stream I'm going to start streaming again soon hopefully um, but yeah take care guys have a good week and I'll see you all soon peace